Hello, and welcome back to another Nailed It video from the Pflugerville Public Library. My name is Carson, and today we will be making something. All right, guys, so back by popular demand, uh, I'm here for another Nailed It video. So let's see what I'm going to mess up making this time. No, actually, I'm not gonna mess it up. I'm manifesting success. I have all of the wonderful ingredients already out because they came in a really big bag with a tea bag and the tea bag burst. So now there's tea all over the ingredients. So, you know, but it adds extra flavors. It's upgraded instant ramen. Um, but here are the ingredients. Pause to get a better view. It should take 10 minutes. Okay, so I've received official word from our judge, i.e. Amanda, that these are gonna be untimed. So uh, we're just gonna go on our own devices and see what happens this time. How am I gonna make this? Uh, let me put the milk and the eggs in the fridge. Okay, never mind. I'm gonna need the eggs. I wanna read the recipe first before I set the time. That's a lot, right? All right, I got a knife. Are you scared yet? A super huge, huge knife. Okay, so I think this is one clove, right? And then in order to mince, you have to like do the press down thing. Um. At least after this, the vampires won't want to eat me. If I'm right, then do this at home. If you're, if I'm wrong, don't try this at home. Okay, there we go. I don't think this is fully unwrapped. I don't yet. like as much as my other one. This one is a betrayal. Oh no! Okay, I don't yeah. like this one. Um, what? It's coming well, out like the good news great. is that some things never oh, change. Oh no! I don't like you. Why did I waste? All right, we minced the garlic. Tablespoon of teaspoon, tablespoon of fresh ginger. It's gonna be gotta be grated. I don't know where our grater is. Okay, I know we have one, but I'm not sure what I did with what we did. With. So I'm just gonna chop it up real small. Why is ginger so weird? The first time I ever had ginger was when I had sushi, and I put it in my mouth, and I thought it was a napkin. I thought I ate a wet paper towel. Like one of those wet wipes. And I think like one of these like little prongs is probably more than enough, right? I know everybody is gonna be very concerned by the way I hold my knife. I am very careful. I have only cut myself a handful of times. Oh, this isn't chopping, okay. Definitely a knife accident waiting to happen. Okay, now, it says to add the garlic over medium heat. We add garlic. All right, and wait, how much oil did they say? It says to cook that for one minute. I put way too much oil in there. All right, one minute. Okay, now what do I do? Add sliced mushrooms and saute for a minute more. Okay, sliced mushrooms. In the meantime, we need one handful of sliced mushrooms. So we're just gonna... I'm burning this. We have Slice up the mushrooms, and we're gonna take them over to the pot. Here, here, take them. Okay, okay. All right, one more minute. Here's the key thing. Have your mushrooms re ready to go. Don't wash them like I did. Look how pretty. All right, y'all, we need one cup of vegetable broth and one cup of water. So we're just gonna, give me one minute. Add broth and water and bring to a bowl. 
broth is in deposited. I'm gonna bring it to a boil. It says once boiling, add uncooked ramen noodles, boil for about three minutes. Well, that's not gonna go happen. Or until just tender. Do not overcook the noodles. <laughs> Don't worry about that. Uh oh. Uh oh. It looks like we got a boil. Well, it's a slight boil. I can. I mean, is this boiling enough? Leave your input in the comments. <laughs> I'm gonna leave it a little bit longer. Do I feel like eating this? Or do I, oh, you know what? We're gonna live on the wild side. We're gonna eat. We have the gluten-free noodles. So let us eat. All right, I think we're there. I forgot to take the timer. It's supposed to be for three minutes, so I'm just gonna give it two and a half. Noodle! Okay, what am I supposed to do again? Ah, hot! It's been three minutes. Stir. Oh, add in the spinach. Always wash your fruits and vegetables, people. I said until just wilted. Are you wilted? All right, so it says turn down to low. Crack egg into broth and let sit, sit for six minutes. Mm. Oh, oh, wait, that was actually beautiful. Now we let it sit there for six minutes. Okay, so I don't think they are full, this is fully cooked yet, so I'm going to leave it a little bit longer. I don't know if it's cooking. Am I supposed to stir it? Okay, so I feel like I'm drying out my ramen, but it's not looking... Well, it's, I mean, it looks mostly done, but it doesn't look quite done. I don't know. Should I leave it? Comment below. Oh! Oh! This is cool! Watch this, guys! The egg! The egg is changing! In the meantime, let's chop onions! What have I done? Like, look at this! I don't know what I did, but something bad happened because... The ramen is essentially done. Um, it's looking a little dry, but you know what? I can live with that. I can live with a little slightly dry ramen. I did something very wrong with the egg, and I don't know what it was. Oh my god. Ah! Um. <laughs> okay, let me put this down. I don't think this is soup anymore. Guys, I think this might... Yeah, there's no, like, all the water is gone. This is not soup. Okay, so this is actually worse than I thought it was. <laughs> I've made ramen before. I made, like, a spicy fortified ramen before. It's never turned out <sighs> this arid, like, Sahara Desert. But that's okay. Let me put the toppings on it. I'm gonna be salt bay. I got grain on the, on, the, on the floor. We're gonna ignore it. Okay, I don't know what I said. It's gonna be Ooh! Oh! See, that's not that much. It's just. It looks clumpy. I've never eaten sriracha before, so maybe I should try it. Oh, oh! turned into like this gelatinous glue. All right, I haven't even eaten it yet, but um, it's got a very gummy consistency. So I think we're in for a treat here. It's not a soup or a ramen that as much as a sludge. Hmm. 
You know what? It's not terrible. It's, um, needs salt, you know? Very much needs salt. So, let's add salt before we fully, fully give our opinion. It's not terrible, actually. It's actually kind of good, even with the gummy consistency. Now, make sure you check out our YouTube channel for more of these lovely nailed it creations and check out the Pflugerville Public Library for awesome resources including books electronic resources and loads of other material check out our website and if you check out our actual building thank you so much and I'll see you next time I really hope Tiara did better than I did Nailed it!